Joined by Hofstra head coach Mo Casera. Coach, uh, team defeated Queens College today 78-47 in your exhibition game. Uh, your thoughts on today's game? Um, you know, certainly uh, you know, good opportunity for us to get out, put the uniforms on, be in our arena, play against somebody else. Uh, a lot of credit to Queens College. I thought their kids play hard and, and really, you know, uh, gave us a good fight. We were able to play a lot of different guys tonight, a lot of different lineups, and a lot of, I'm sure, as you all know, a lot of new faces out there. So, uh, you know, continuity is going to be a big challenge for us. Uh, you know, time together on the court is going to be a big challenge for us. But, you know, overall, pleased with some of the efforts. Coach, Stevie Mejia, 16 points, 8 boards, 5 <clears throat> steals, only 2 assists, though. Would you like to see those assist numbers go up a little bit moving forward? Yeah, my biggest disappointment today is the turnovers. You know, we turned the ball over 20 times. We, I told the team we can't beat anybody turning the ball over 20 times. A little bit of that is a little bit of, you know, first game nerves, a little bit of just not playing well. But uh, And we've got to move the ball a little bit better, you know, offensively. But I like what some of the things we did defensively. I thought, you know, a couple times we changed pace on defense and, you know, we kind of took them out of the game. We've seen an emphasis on the youth and the fresh faces, but what did you see from your seniors like Arms and Mejia? I thought they were both really good tonight. I mean, they both had some things. They, you know, both made a couple mistakes, but you know, they got to get a little bit more time on the court out there together. But I thought they did some great things. Coach, Perk. it seemed like that run and jump defense that you've been practicing all preseason really worked when you put it into action here today. What do you think about using that more going forward? Uh, we will. I didn't want to use it a ton tonight. You know, obviously we've got some athletes now. I think, and if we can get healthy and get get a few more guys out the court, we're going to be really you know, effective with that. We've got some, definitely got some bodies. Coach, a lot of running and running in that first half. Uh, same time, transition oh, defense. Had some holes in it. Of course, a few turnovers, but then turn the ball back. What have you seen that transition defense? Uh, you know, really not very good. I mean, our, our two, the two things we were really poor at today was transition defense one and turn the ball over. I mean, you, you hit on you, you know hit on both of those things, and those are things that can get better. I mean, those are things that a little bit of having some funny lineups in there, a little bit of having some youth and inexperience in there, and then and then a little bit of, of mistakes. You know, and we have to correct those. Coach, a year on the sidelines for Jordan Allen, gave some great energy today. What did you see from him? You know, I thought Jordan Allen was, was uh, you know, at least offensively, I thought he was very good. You know, had a couple little mistakes, but I think you can see the benefit of that that red shirt year. You know what I mean? Ten, you know, ten points. I'd like to, I'd like to see his rebound numbers go up. His defense has got to be a little bit better for us to be really successful. But I mean, I think you know, you see the difference in one kid in the year. And you know, we had five freshmen out there quite a bit tonight. Coach, uh, so many new faces into November now. You kind of have a sense of what roles are going to be yet on this team. I think it's still developing. Um, you know, I think you know. Obviously, we've got a few other bodies that that are going to enter the fray here, and then and that will help our depth and help uh, a little bit of what we want to do. But certainly, early on here, we're still trying to kind of piece it together and figure out exactly what we want to do. But you know, I like I like some of the options that we have, and I think we saw a little bit of that tonight. Coach Jimmy Hall doesn't play at all in the first half, comes out in the second half, puts up seven points and seven boards. What did you see that you like from him in the second half of the play? Well, I think you can all see he's very talented. I mean, he's, you know, he's one of those guys, he doesn't jump real high, he doesn't run real fast, but he's got long arms, just kind of knows how to play. You know, obviously, a, you know, product of a very good high school program. Um, he's got to develop, uh, he's got to develop a little bit more mental toughness on and off the court. And if he continues to grow up, I think he could be a great player. Here. Six days before Monmouth is the team where you'd like to be? I don't think they're ever where you'd like to be. You know <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. You guys know I don't sleep very much, and certainly this time of year with five freshmen, I really don't sleep a lot. So we got a lot of work to do. But uh, you know, we knew that. You know, we knew that. And, and obviously, uh, if we can get to full strength here and get some more bodies back, we're going to be continuing to improve. On that note, if you had to give two two of the biggest positives, two of the big, biggest negatives, what would you say they would be? At this uh, point? Biggest negatives, uh, I think we already touched on it. You know, our, our kind of tr our transition and defense and emergency on defense kind of effort and turnovers. There's things that we can't do. And then uh, as a positive, I thought we were able to play a lot of different guys, a lot of different spots. And I think that we've got some versatility. I think we've got some athletes now. We've got a little bit of depth. And then it's just going to take a little time to pull it together. They've been on for 13 points, now they've got two threes. Seemed a little more comfortable outside of the paint, around the perimeter and the mid range. Is that more of an expanded offensive game we should expect from this season? I hope so. I mean, you know, he's, he's a senior. He's been through it a lot. You know, I thought he made some shots. He actually missed a couple. I think he missed two or three layups, you know, around the basket. You know, he makes those. I think he probably has 20 points tonight. You know, but those are little, little early season mistakes, you know, and we need him to make those plays for us. Between the debate and the weather, are they able to, they able to build any kind of routine for the guys yet, or are you still that? Point of trying to get him into a weekly type of yeah, it's been tough, Jerry. You know, I mean, we've talked about it a lot. I mean, I just think that you know, with a new team, you know, continuity is really important. And today, you know, it's just you know, just getting in the locker room kind of for the first time is important. You know, we've been out of our offices, out of the arena, we've had a hurricane. It's been a, a real challenge. But you know, the kids have been resilient. We just got to kind of fight through that. And I think, you know, uh, I think this is going to be the type of team where, you know, early on, it's going to be 
a, a struggle a little bit up and down as we saw today. You know, some really good things and some not so good things. But I think as we move forward uh, and get some more time together, we're going to be pretty, we're going to be a pretty tough team. Thank you, coach. Thank you.